What's up, dude? Simon back with another video. I'm sure you've read the description of this video and you've clicked on it. Yes, I have been invited to the Download Festival Media Day. Uh, me and Adam from the Dear Download podcast have been invited as a team. So, yeah, super exciting. Um, we're going to the Donington Park Farmhouse. Um, I have no idea where that is. I, I think it's just outside the uh, Donington Raceway. Really, really cool. Can't wait to see what these guys have in store. Obviously, we're going to get certain information and details, I think, a little bit before the public will get it. Yeah, so it's um yeah really, really cool day. Um, I'm going to take you guys along with me, see what I can film in there, see what footage I can get. And I might even take a little trip to Donington Park itself and try and uh, sneak into some of the fields there and get some pictures and videos for you guys of download without anything there. Because I think if I stood there, I literally know where everything is anyway. So yeah, so yeah, I'm going to get on the road. Don't have to be there till 11 o'clock. It's only literally coming up for eight now. Me and Adam are going to get there a little bit early and talk during things through about what we're going to do. So yeah. See you dudes in a bit. Hello, I'm at Donington Park. Um, download isn't, download isn't here. Uh, it's April, so it's about seven or eight weeks before download. Um, and I thought on my way to the uh, press day at the farmhouse, I thought I would just come and have a look at the field, where the arena is and where the festival pretty much takes place. Um, I'm standing right now in front of, if you see this sort of tarmac area here, that will be where the main stage will be set up. So everyone would be looking that way just for context um, up there in that corner across the tree line would be the dog tooth stage over those hedges there sorry past the hedges and over those trees would be the second stage looking off into that direction and just over those little hedges there in that corner would be the avalanche stage uh, it's really cool to get an idea of the scale i mean i've been coming to download this will be my 15th download and I've never been on this field without having download in it. So this is a really, really cool thing for me. Um, and hopefully you guys are enjoying it as well. But yeah, it really does give you an idea of scale. I mean, we all know download is a huge festival, but this field is absolutely giant. Um, so it's actually crazy that, you know, all of that completely is pretty much filled with people, which is actually madness. But yeah, it's great to get a look at it without anything here. Um, I'm not sure what this little forklift is doing here, probably getting some stuff ready for download or whatever. There's some racing going on at the moment, so there's loads and loads of cars over there. So hopefully um, no one shoots at me or I don't get removed from the field at any moment. Um, but yeah, this is awesome. I just thought you guys would enjoy this. Um, I might have a little walk around. I'm not sure how far I can go without getting told off because I'm pretty sure that I'm probably not supposed to be here, but I'm trying not to go too far in case someone says, oi, and I get arrested before the press day. Um, but yeah, this is awesome. It's really cool to see what someone from the main stage would see. Obviously, they'd be a bit higher, but um, yeah, it's very, very cool to look off into that distance and see uh, all the times that I, uh, well, would have stood over there and watched fans. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. I might do a little bit more mooching around, or I might not. Um, but anyway, this is awesome. Uh, it is so cool to be here on the hallow grounds of Donington Park. Uh, I'm just going to do a backwards walk so you guys can get some uh, indication of where I am on the site. So pretty much now you can see just behind me, as I said in the last bit, uh, I'm standing pretty much where the main stage would be. Um, I will flip the camera around a minute to give you guys an idea of how actually awesome and massive this place is. Um, but yeah, I'm trying not to draw too much attention to myself because I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be here. So, um, but yes, now look, here we go. I am standing pretty much where the main stage would be. I am now on the main stage at Download. This is where it will all be set up across here. And uh, that would be the view out. Just think of all the awesome legendary gigs that have happened, you know, bring me, we're doing it right here to that field of people last year um, and that was pretty incredible so yeah it's very 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 cool to be here um, over there you can see that would be where the avalanche stage would be uh, over there across those trees again would be the second stage which would be the other side and up in that corner there would be the dog tooth stage so yeah this is awesome i wonder if there's any um relics of download festival you can tell that there's been staging here because that is electrical tape and there's little bits of black, red, 
and like green electrical tape absolutely everywhere over here because that's what they use to tape don't they yeah <laughs> Okay, we were just walking around looking to see if we could find something. I found a pick from Jim Root from Slipknot. <laughs> Literally, it is Jim Root from Slipknot's actual pick that I have just found at Donington randomly. This is amazing. Okay, we arrived. We are now in the room and I'm here with this guy. We've got our recording device. We're ready. We're ready to go. That I brought because uh, apparently my colleague here um, and director of Dear Download didn't think about bringing a recording device. <laughs> French girls. <laughs> look who's here. Look who's here. Look at him. Look, he's got his swanky, he's got his swanky coffee. I thought I got it was a picture. You <laughs> <laughs> He's got his swanky coffee. Free coffee as well. Download. Free coffee from Download. That's good. Enjoy it. Enjoy it while it, enjoy it, while it lasts, yeah. buddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, a free, free kind of lick to death. Look at that. Fantastic. I've been doing it in 21 years, I don't know how to turn a mic on. Um, the legacy, the legacy of, of Download, as I'm sure most of you know, um, we started the festival in 2003, and it really had come off the back of uh, Monsters of Rock that had been at Donington since 1980 through to 1996. And the decision was, um, well, really the year before the first download there was an Ozfest and from that the idea was sprung that we should bring a festival back to Donington but make it um, a little bit different a camping event over two days and in the first year we were two days two stages uh, and the way that the festival has built over the years now that we're you know three days multi-stages huge amount of activity going on um, in and around the festival outside of the main arena uh, and here we are 21 years later which is an incredible achievement um, when we first started i wanted to ensure that we did as many downloads as the work monsters of rock we surpassed that a few years ago um, and now just seeing people come year in year out uh, is i think that's the legacy of the festival that we're still here we're still relevant and that the people treat download as their as their holiday. They take a week off work. Um, the minute the festival finishes, it's like, oh, what the uh, what are the dates for next year? And they just keep coming regularly. And we're very very lucky to be in that position. Um, we, uh, me and Danica work on the core download booking team, mm -hmm. but separately we are now in charge of championing and developing what is now known as District X and has been since 2022. Um, watching it grow in terms of lineups, in terms of physically how much bigger it is and everything it's providing and how important it's becoming to the experience of the festival goer, it's just like absolute privilege for me. And I, it's touching on what you said, David. It is a three-day music festival, but the vast majority of ticket holders are there for the five days. And basically, it's the mission we've undertaken is to make sure that those five days are varied and entertaining, basically right up to 3 a.m. every night. That's the challenge. Um, we work on this the whole year round, essentially, uh, even if it's not necessarily through sending offers months ago. We are absorbing, looking out for brands, keeping an eye on opportunities, really trying to stay at the forefront of what it is that we are providing each year, uh, while also making sure that we're bringing back the fan favourites every time. Uh, it's a kind of a balance that we're trying to reach. Um, we actually are just about finished with our bookings for 2024, and our official announcement is coming on Thursday, but we are happy to be able to share an exclusive snapshot you all of 
kind of some of the main things that we're bringing this year. Um, excitingly, fresh off the Avenged Sevenfold US Arena Tour, we have Sullivan King, who is a DJ that does metal and EDM mashups, accompanied by live guitar. It's like quite a performance, and he plays massive international sets at like a different kind of festival. So we're very, very excited to bring him to the UK for a UK festival exclusive. Um, and we just think he, we all know he's gonna fit in right with the download crowd. Uh, although it's new territory for him, so that's really exciting. Um, we also wanted to add to one of the most talked about bookings uh, of the main arena lineup. Uh, and we've invited Charlie Simpson from Busted to come and do the doghouse for us. So varied and entertaining. Amazing. <laughs> Um, we also this year have uh, Bowling for Soup, uh, they're going to be uh, coming from the arena to District X post midnight on the Saturday uh, to play an acoustic set, um, so we're really looking forward to uh, classic pop punk sing along that night. Um, we also have self-described 10-piece brass powerhouse, get those words out, um, old dirty bastards, they've been uh, gaining notoriety touring um, the UK over the past few years. Um, and they're going to be playing uh, all of our favourite pop punk and metal covers. Um, so yeah, other than that, we're excited to bring back our favourite, or one of our favourite parts of um, District X, which uh, is the secret acoustic sets. Um, so they'll be coming back on the Friday, Saturday and Sunday night, and that will be um, announced uh, each morning on socials and on the app. Um, and finally, uh, we're excited to share that we have a third area, uh, a third stage um, in District X, um, where we will be uh, having things like karaoke and bingo and podcasts, um, but also... Podcasts? Yes, yes. <laughs> I like a podcast! Um, but also, um, we are really excited to share that we finally are able to bring back the, uh, the Simon Disco. Um, which is something we've been working on for a little while, um, and that will be hosting uh, DJ battles every night, or five nights, up until 3 a.m. Um, so yeah, we just invite everyone to come along um, and join us, and yeah, just stay up till 3 a.m. every night, like we do. <laughs> Right, just come out from the um, press event. It was fantastic. Um, we got loads of information about download. Some of it you should have just seen in the video. Uh, Adam's just gone for a wee. Um, bumped into Jenny and Danica from the download team. Um, thank you again for stopping and chatting to us. Um, you guys are great. Always great to um, have a conversation with you guys. And I'm sure we will see you at download. But yeah, that was really cool. Lots of information. Um, it was great to bump into people, you know, from press and media. And yeah, I really, really enjoyed myself. Now we're going to go back <laughs> to um, Download Field because Adam wants to walk on it as well. So I might shoot a few more funny bits there. But yeah, um, this was a really cool experience. And um, it's really great being a fan of Download. You know, I've been going since 2005 to, um, although we have worked for it, um, it's really great to be invited to something like this. So thanks again to the guys um, on the Download team for inviting us and thinking of us. But yeah, I'm waiting for Adam to come. I thought he was going to come out while I was talking because he's just gone for a wee, but he hasn't. Um, but yeah, awesome. Here is a more detailed look at the pick that I found. As you can see, that is Jim Root from Slipknot's pick. Can't believe I actually found that while well, not at download <laughs> on the same site. It was literally just sticking out of the mud. You can see there the little um, Iowa sign with the 95, I believe, because I think that's when the band started. But um, I never managed to find pics at download. <laughs> and I found one <laughs> while the festival's not on, which is just a typical me thing to happen. But there you go. It's a bit battered. I washed some of the mud off of it. But that is a really, really cool find. Um, that is going to go in the collection. You should go and subscribe to my channel just because. Come on, subscribe.